All right. It's been a while since uh, I've even tried this game. But uh, yeah, Death Stranding. It, it looks interesting. I just never got into it. But uh, let's see. We gotta take orders. Uh Come firm head out Order assigned All right uh There we go. That'll even it out a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. I got... I... I... Freaking hate the... Buttons for this. Alright, so we gotta deliver all this to the next place. And, of course, it's gonna start raining. Weapons restrictions lifted. Like, this game looks amazing. Alright, so I gotta hold myself together to keep balance. And I'm going somewhere over those ledges. Oh, I'm gonna need some new shoes soon, too. I just hope there's no BTs or whatever the fuck they're called. Okay. Even though I know the sounds are turned down, that is loud as fuck. Yule boots? What the fuck is that? Oh, no, no, no. Why is it showing my health? What's going on? Oh, there's people down there. Oh. Wait, what is that? What are you? What does that mean? Heads up, Sam. Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Now, before someone has eyes on you. Oh, that's what that is? Oh, shit. Run, Sam, run! Oh, okay, if I let go of grabbing, he goes a lot faster. Oh, they're right on my ass. Why are they all grunting like they're fucking cavemen? Oh, just fucking great. Alright, so... I'm guessing this big circle is the timefall area, but I just gotta keep going. I'm almost there. Hills gave you trouble, huh? Not much. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. Yeah, the whole concept of this game is fucking weird as shit.
Alright, so the, the rain ages people and stuff like that. I guess the this guy I'm playing, frickin' if he dies, he comes back to life or repatch or patriot? I don't fucking know whatever it's called. Man, there's a lot of rocks here. Getting tuckered out there, buddy. I just hope there's no BTs. I have no idea on how to, like, dodge them or fight them at the moment. What is that? I don't understand what what that crazy noise was. Oh, I know what that crazy noise was now. Where am I going first? Okay, so I need to go that way. Uh, and I need to be on the other side of the river. Alright, so it's safe to cross. God damn, that's some deep water. You can make it, man. You can do it. Oh, gotta get some stand back. All right, you're good, man. You can make it. You can make it. No, stop running, man. I just want you to walk. Oh, I pissed something off. Yeah, I know he's right there, man. Fuck it! Run! Oh, shit! Run like a motherfucker! Wait, what's happening? What? Something wrong, Sam? I don't know. Kid doesn't look so hot. Uh, nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Oh, you're shitting me. Auto, whatever the fuck he just said, some word. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, or was it because I kept running and... When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Oh, is it... Aw, oh, that's all my fault right there? I'm sorry, baby. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons which remain locked. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Hold on, little guy. Let me make the delivery.
police station folks told me all about you. Sam Bridges, with the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lost home. When he's not out making deliveries. So what'd you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Yay, saw some. Okay, it's time. Do you mind connecting us to the network? Oh, right, here we go. Yes, I hear you, BB. I know you're all pissed. Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Uh, let's see. Mule and drone syndrome. Bridget's baby. Wait. Bridge babies? Oh, time fall. Uh, new features been added to your cuff link. Mail and data. Whoa, what is all that crap? There is now connected, enabling you to see and access other players' structures. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. What is the point Sam, of that mass? Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. I'm getting there. God! Hold on, baby! Turn the volume down on this game, it's still fucking loud as shit. Dead man, you there? Little help? Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. I'm guessing this is part of the game, just to show you how it works. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother. Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. That's fucking weird. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. That's creepy. 
Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. Waiting for it to flip me off. Try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Hmm. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. Good night, Sam. Why does he handcuff himself to it? I don't get that. He's gonna wake Wonder up in the middle of his sleep and murder people? And that's even more creepy. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come You'll be waiting a long time. Gotta... Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. God damn, he's got handprints all over him. Sam, this is Hartman. Dead man 
molecular question, as I oversee the DT research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on the BT. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, chirality, dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an mm, old research weapons with my bodily fluids. bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding. But also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expeditions, logs, and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Alright, so if you can get those grenades from a shower, let's try using the toilet. No. Nope, he doesn't get nothing from using the toilet. Crease that stam. How do I get back off the table? Uh... Do I have a mouse? How does this work? Oh, hell no, I'm not going through all that. Oh, I don't have to, I can just hover over him? Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, and memory chips. Uh, don't I have one? 
Oh, I haven't identified it? Oh. Check on baby. Is he okay? Yeah, he looks good now. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam. Oh my god, can Captain everybody stop calling me? Review the list of orders. Oh, okay, that's where you check them. Okie dokie. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Aurelium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back. Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Are you serious? How am I supposed to deal with them? Oh, both of these and ooh. Ooh. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. I'm confused. What did they give me? What did they want me to do? Okay. Okay. 
That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Okay, so now I can collect those things. Alright. That's what I was looking for. Uh, uh, allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Yeah, I've already seen quite a few Order of them. Time. Keep on keeping Beginning on. scan. Have a pleasant journey. Keep on keeping on. Uh, hmm. alright. So... It wants me to collect it from there? I will use that to go get the freaking other stuff. Now what, Sam, man? Tyro crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Really, that's it? <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do with resin and shit, though. So. Okay, just a bit further now. Oh, there's huh. another one right there. <laughs> I don't want to build a watchtower. But it wants me to. Am I in the area? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, press 1. Nope. 1. PCC. I don't understand why I need a watchtower when I can scan. Construction complete. Dang, this is a lot of shit. How do I get out of this? F. Go collect the loot. Oh, 
I don't know what that means. What is that up there? I don't know what that symbol is. Oh, we're going in BT territory again. There we go. There we go. What is this? There we go. Temporary footwear? Oh, okay. Wondering what the fuck those were. Alright, let's head back. Why is there a trash can symbol? What am I hearing? Alright, let's go complete this, turn these things in, then we'll go rob the whatever people over there. Sam, the Kyrily Crystal deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple though. Access the delivery terminal and drop off any Kyrily Crystals you're carrying. Okay, there's the chip, so that's how you put those things in. So, you're a treasure hunter in your spare time, huh? It's funny. I didn't think you had it. Okay. So no, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I I I don't know. Am I supposed to claim? The I'm so confused. I don't know how these things work. I see different symbols. I, I, I don't know. 
No, I don't want. I, I'm totally confused. Okay, so we're not claiming materials. Uh, what do I do with the? I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. How do you put in chiral stuff? Hmm. Pissy about that? I got more. Container repair spray. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you could... Uh-huh. Okay. Yay, I can carry more cargo. Oh, before I forget. This is for you. Oh, what is it now? Is it another stupid hat? What is it? That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Cool. Like these, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I'm guessing I gotta recycle them? There is a correlation between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you Holy shit, crystal, these guys like to talk. Yeah, you told me multiple times now already. Shut up. Along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Jesus.
Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, so I gotta take this crap out of my private locker. Oh, do I not have them in there? Okay. Share locker. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want materials from the facility. Fabricate equipment. Oh no, I can't make stuff. Boo. Shit. Thank you for your I don't know what they're giving me PCCs for. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Order assigned. Keep on keeping in the scan. Have a pleasant journey. Yeah, there's not gonna be anything pleasant about this. Well, let's, uh... I've never driven a bike before. Oh, I can't use it? Aww. Oh. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. <laughs> Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons that remain on the market. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Brick. Weapons restrictions lifted. I hope there's no BTs. Oh, now what? All of the rule or habit. But most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful. These guys are armed. Okay. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Oh, well, what am I going to fight with? V? Are, are you serious? I'm going to punch a motherfucker? <laughs> Okay, you can get it off my fucking screen. Oh, really? Are you fucking serious? I'm gonna choke some motherfuckers out.
Find somewhere to hold up. Look around and trust your instincts. <laughs> Oh, come on! in your vicinity have been incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get a whole bunch of shit back from those guys. My shoes are about to break. Scanner thing. Oh, be careful where you're going, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 
Okay, you're gonna have to take this slow, man. Holy crap. Too much speed. Damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. We made jobs no one really needed and gave them to folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo-chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. Ow, oh, fuck him up. This is as fast as you can go. I know, there's a lot of shit on your back. And I still have the piece of fucking... How do I put that away? No, I don't want to equip it. There we go. Shoes holding up. Terrible. Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. Oh, I can make bridges now. Yay! See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since, under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. So 
Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Didn't get really too much done, but we went and beat up some mules and other things and whatnot. This game is interesting, that's for sure. I just can't wait to have a vehicle, though, because this running around shit sucks. But anyways, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.